I was at that age that I had a dream. All my life this remained deeply impressed on my mind. In this dream I seemed to be near my home in a very large yard. A crowd of children were playing there. Some were laughing, some were playing games and quite a few were swearing. When I heard these evil words I jumped immediately amongst them and tried to stop them by using my words and my fists. At that moment a dignified man appeared, a nobly dressed adult. He wore a white cloak and his face shone so that I could hardly look at him. He called me by name, told me to take charge of these children and added these words. You will have to win these friends of yours not by blows but by gentleness and love. Start right away to teach him the ugliness of sin and the value of virtue. Confused and frightened, I replied that I was a poor ignorant child. I was unable to talk to these youngsters about religion. At that moment, the kids stopped their fighting, shouting and swearing. They gathered around the man who was speaking. Hardly knowing what I was saying, I asked, Who are you? ordering me to do the impossible. Precisely because it seems impossible to you, you must make it possible through obedience and the acquisition of knowledge. Where, by what means, can I acquire knowledge? I will give you a teacher. Under her guidance, you can become wise. Without her, all wisdom is foolishness. But who are you to speak that way? I am the son of the woman whom your mother has taught you to greet three times a day. My mother tells me not to mix with people I do not know, unless I have her permission. So tell me your name. Ask my mother what my name is. At that moment, I saw a lady of stately appearance standing beside him. She was wearing a mantle that sparkled all over as though covered with bright stars. Seeing from my questions and answers that I was more confused than ever, she beckoned me to approach her. She took me kindly by the hand and said, Look. Glancing around, I realised that the youngsters had all apparently ran away. A large number of goats, dogs, cats, bears and other animals had taken their place. This is the field of your work. Make yourself humble, strong and energetic. And what you will see happening to these animals in a moment is what you must do for my children. I looked around again and where before I had seen wild animals, I now saw gentle lambs. They were all jumping and bleating as if to welcome that man and lady. At that point, still dreaming, I began crying. I begged the lady to speak so that I could understand her, because I did not know what all of this could mean. She then placed her hand on my head and said, In good time you will understand everything. With that, a noise woke me up and everything disappeared. I was totally bewildered. My hands seemed to be sore from the blows I had given, and my face hurt from those I had received. The memory of the man and the lady, and all the things said and heard, so occupied my mind that I could not get any more sleep that night.